Hey, good morning, Saxy family. How are you guys all doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed, well, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos coming here to the channel. So I did have a different video partially shot and edited for today, but while in the middle of filming that video, I had to stop when some big news broke out. News that just doesn't only affect me, but affects other creators and also affects you guys. Um, so as we all know, YouTube does things that never, just never make sense and it always upsets us the creators and also you the fans. And to be honest with all of you, YouTube doesn't really care about the creators these days or their fans or the people using the platform. Uh, what they do care about is getting people to cut having TV, like cut the cable, and start using their platform and also buying into the whole YouTube TV deal. Uh, that's why when you look on the trending page, for instance, uh, it hardly features creators, which they just made an announcement that they're fixing it. It's going to be half creators and half of whatever they want. Uh, but when you look on trending in normal, like in the past few months, and years uh, you'll notice basically it's always been late night shows sports highlights WWE and more and up until recently like I said with us creators basically using our voice and you the fans also using your voice we were able to make a change here on the platform and YouTube finally listened like oh yeah trending should be for creators and not Jimmy Fallon and uh, Jimmy Kimmel and all these late night shows and well there is a bigger issue uh, there's a site called Social Blade, which I personally use every single day. I know a lot of creators use it. I know fans use it. Uh, for me, Social Blade is this big site that helps out so much when it comes to tracking your subscriber gains or losses in real time. And it uh, just YouTube is messing up again. And they're going to keep going down this rabbit hole where they keep messing up. And just one day, you know, a competitor, <coughs> Story Fire, is gonna take over and just, YouTube is not gonna be what it is right now. Honestly, all the problems we're having now with YouTube is just gonna keep getting worse. But uh, as many of you probably heard, YouTube will be getting rid of the full subscriber count, which means, uh, for instance, if my channel shows 137,100 subscribers, you won't see that. They're just going to narrow it down to 137K subscribers. Uh, the big problem with this is that any website that has real-time subscribers will not be showing subscribers anymore in real time, such as Social Blade. Now, for me, the, the big thing about Social Blade is not only does it help me track how many subscribers I've gained in a day or how many views I've gotten in a day, but it allows me to actually watch my subscriber count go up or down, and it lets me judge my content, if the content was good or bad if I'm gaining subscribers in real time, which is the greatest thing about Social Blade is that it, it allows you to track whatever is going on in real time. and YouTube wants to get rid of real-time tracking with subscribers with their new update that they're doing and they plan on basically killing Social Blade. And so I want you guys to do me a favor. If you have a Twitter or something, use hashtag save, save Social Blade. It's up here on the screen. And tweet it to YouTube and also at Team YouTube. And just say, listen, yo, like this is an important thing. Not only is Social Blade one of the biggest tools used by creators, it's one of the tools that we most love. Uh, back when I was getting ready to hit 100,000 subscribers, you can ask anybody I was around around that time. I was always on my computer checking my phone and watching my real-time sub count. Actually, right here, let me let me pull this up real quick. Hopefully, oh my goodness, my phone is kind of like doing some weird things. I have one of the Social Blade real-time tracker apps on my phone to track my current sub count. But back before I was about to hit 100,000 subs, um, I would use Social Blade every single day watching my subscriber count go up and all and I'm like, oh my god, a dream of mine that I've had for years is about to happen. I'm going to see myself hit 100,000 subscribers. And then on October 2nd, I was able to watch it live at my friend's house and it was just this huge moment for me, you know, as a creator watching myself hit 100,000 subscribers and then while my parents were here at their house uh, they had some friends over it was a Friday night they had friends over and they had my brother they took a shot once they saw my subscriber count hit 100,000 subs which happened to be my stepdad be my 100,000 subscriber which is pretty cool um, but it was a big deal, you know, because my family was able to watch me hit 100,000 subscribers in real time along with myself while I was in a different location with my friends. I also know a lot of the fans 
were able to see me hit 100k and they were sending me screenshots and it was a big deal and personally to me i i was very happy you know because I, I achieved a dream that i thought was never possible and it finally happened i got to see it in real time and i know it happens for a lot of creators you know you hit the hundred thousand then you hit the million you hit two million you hit 10 million and you get to see it live on social blade and it's the greatest thing ever and also the fans just get to interact and watch you hit 100k subs as well and you know, YouTube just wants to take that tool away from us, and it's not right. And we as the creators, we have a voice. You, the users, and the fans of all your favorite YouTubers have a voice, and we all need to use it. We need to use it for the good here on the platform to show YouTube, like, hey, this matters to us. Don't ruin it, because we love it. And that's the one thing YouTube likes to do, is just ruin everything and anything people tend to love. And, I don't know guys, I just, I wanted to pick the camera up and film a different vlog for today than the normal vlog that you guys have come to see here on the channel. And just express my feelings towards Social Blade, and how much it means to me as a creator, and how much it means to other creators here on the platform. Uh, it was trending number one worldwide yesterday, and I just... I feel like YouTube is just going to keep messing up and they're going to keep doing these stupid things that's going to keep upsetting not only us creators, but you the fans. And that's the most important thing is uh, I want I want the audience and the fans to always be happy. And when YouTube takes away something that we all love and they take it away from us, it's kind of just upsetting. And I'm sorry if like this video has turned into a long rant or ramble. I just I had to get out how I feel about this subject. And I'm tired. I'm tired of YouTube stepping over the creators and the fans and the people that just generally use the site because they become so corporate to the point where they don't care about the fans or the people uploading the to the platform. The people that made their platform what it is today, uh, they just they just don't care, and it's a damn shame because I've always loved YouTube and the fact that YouTube is just doing all these stupid, ridiculous updates that people don't even want. That, that's the problem. When we don't want something, they just shove it down our throat. And that's why, guys, for me personally, like, I think Storyfire is going to end up being a big thing. Um, I'm going to be posting on there very soon. Uh, as this vlog comes out today, I should have my introduction video tomorrow on Storyfire, by the way, Saturday, uh, where I basically introduce myself to the platform as one of the newest content creators. And I'm honestly looking forward to that because, A, I know they care about the creators, and B, it's something new. And see, YouTube, you just keep messing up to the point where it's hard for us creators to be happy making content for this platform. And as much as I want to continue the daily vlog and doing it here on YouTube, at some point, it might just get shifted over into another platform. Uh, just due to the fact that YouTube likes to just ruin the fun for all of us. So, dear YouTube, please stop messing up because it, it it's just not making everything fun for all of us creators here. Um, I honestly don't know what else to say. I mean, for example, uh, another YouTuber named Jesse, uh, aka McJargonuggets, tweeted the other day uh, the difference between CPMs from YouTube to uh, Storyfire. And if you guys want to know what I honestly earn right now in 20,000 views, it's awful. Um, let, let me just show you guys this. Like, back last year, you could post a video for 20,000 views. I, I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, so I'll if you're doing this for fun it shouldn't just be about the money but once your sole income at the moment the money is also important because it's what helps pay your bills uh so let me go to this video here for 15,000 views i don't know how well you guys can see that but 23 dollars is what 15,000 views got me um and it's awful for 18,000 views $37. It's just, YouTube's messing up on every single thing out there, and it makes me not love it as much as I used to. And I know it's the same for every single creator out there. And YouTube, you just, you gotta do us all a favor. Stop messing up. Stop making these mistakes that are gonna run your creators away. And it's already too late because you ran a lot of them away. I know so many YouTubers out there that are just burnt out and they've had enough. And I don't know. I don't know how much longer the daily vlog will be on YouTube, to be honest, guys. Um, and the fact with the whole social blade thing, it's just, it's, it might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Uh, Keemstar even tweeted, 
I don't uh, protest for anything, but if there's one thing I'll riot for in the streets, it'll be Social Blade. And same here, guys. So thank you guys all so much for listening to me to like ramble for 10 minutes straight about how I feel about this whole entire issue right now on YouTube with multiple things going on uh, between the Social Blade trending and even the, the CPMs. Uh, and that's me being transparent with you guys, showing what I, I make on some videos. And to me, I'm, I'm not going to be surprised if this video makes twenty dollars as well and it's just it's just getting bad so thank you guys so much for watching saxy family i love each and every single one of you and uh until next time it's been your boy jeff keep and everyone i'm gonna log out i'm gonna peace out remember you can do anything you put your mind to remember to stay positive and well peace <laughs>